But Mr. Gibson, mm -hmm. Texas Southern, Thrillos, alma mater, is having a fan fest. Mm -hmm. Fan fest is coming Saturday, August 24th. I have not heard many details about it. I just know it starts at 4 Central Time. I, I don't know regarding food, DJs, face painting. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, So, mm -hmm. Thrillo, if you have some insight to share with, with us, please let me know. Because, you know, I, I'm all about teams in H-Town. So, so let me share that info. What's going to happen this Saturday at Texas Southern's Fan Fest? So I can share that with the audience. But because... Uh, let me see if anything's changed, Will. But do the Buckeyes do fan fest, Will? Things like that? Um, they had a couple open practices. Uh first four practices of camp uh were open to the public. Uh at fifty dollars per, mind you. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can attend. Um, I think the first one was a kick the first day they had a kickoff luncheon with Coach Day. And then practice after, and then the three subsequent practices after that. So, yeah, I'm I'm at TSU's website, and I don't see specifics about the fan fest. Gee, will right now I'm, I'm on the website. I don't see anything about the fan fest. Not a not a banner or anything. Wow. Hmm. That's. That's not good. <laughs> Let's see. It's not me, Will. Yeah. Trello says it right there. The info coming out of TSU has been minimal. You know how I found out about it? Hmm. On, on Instagram. Wow. From, I think, TSU's main account. But then the women's basketball team posted an IG about it. Friday, Thursday or Friday, you know, inviting fans. We want to see you there this Saturday at our fan fest, that kind of thing. Oh, so the fan fest is for all sports. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. That's, well, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I really don't know, Will. I okay. think so. Yeah. I I, right. I mean, let's see. Last year it was it was all sports. Sports teams and band recognition, DJ, friends, the family type deal. Yeah, it was nice for a first one. So, and I'm I'm seeing, I don't know what's going on. Or maybe a train's going by or something, but the my Wi-Fi is kind of spotty this evening. I don't know what's going on. Maybe everything's connected, but so I apologize for that. But, and see, Justin knows, Thrillo, this is true. TSU has never been good at promoting things. Wow. I do in yeah. the building that don't promote it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there you go. Wow. Yeah. So it's not just a University of Houston thing, Will. The schools in Ace Town, we struggle. We, we, that means Houston, TSU, Rice, HCU struggle at promoting. Is that what Dr. McClellan is? No, he's the he's the commissioner of the SWAC. Oh, he's the commissioner. Okay, okay. Yeah, he was there. He was the. AD he was there. Commissioner. Okay, that's why I was like, wait yeah. a minute. Why am I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 But yeah, Thrillo says that's true. So, mm -hmm. and I'm not surprised about that. But yeah, I mean, so because a lot of the stuff. That, as far as promotions go, the teams do. The individual teams do at TSU. They do that. It's just, Nail just speaking, from, preaching. I don't understand why we struggle with promoting. Houston is a big city. They have to hire. There you go. They have to hire the right people. There, there, there you go. Right there. That's it. Oh, Mr. Moore chimes in from Facebook. Hey, hey, Dave, my man. Salute. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and see, Thrillo is probably not wrong with this, but it's the wrong mindset. 
He believes the schools just try not to compete with all the things to do in Houston. They try not to compete? Yeah. Why? That's that's, that's the wrong mindset. Yeah. And, and then, on the other hand, they'll complain about lack of attendance. Who knew? Exactly. You didn't do anything to, to tell them about what's going on. I don't know why nobody came to our game. Really? You don't, you don't know? Really? Wow. So... Yeah, I, I I don't I don't I don't know, but I was one of, and I'm not I'm not. It's just a fact. I'm not saying it to be proud, be boastful, but on the lunch break, the last few shows, I was one of the few outlets in town to mention the Houston Cougars fan fest, the Rice Owls fan fest, and TSU's fan fest. I mean. But it comes down to if the school doesn't mention it, that's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that's not my fault. That's your fault. So hopefully this week, prior to, by Thursday, for the next edition of my appearance of the takeover, the Houston Round Ball Review Takeover of the lunch break, I'll have some more info and details to share about Texas Southern's upcoming Fan Fest this Saturday, August 24th inside H and P E arena. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mr. Tran, how are you chime doing from the West Coast? Justin says it took Kelvin Sampson to give UH a kick in the butt to get things going. It, it, that's that's not that's not wrong. <laughs> that, that's not wrong. And as Willie has said before, it should not be the coach's job to do all that. It should not, you know, and 